Hi everyone, welcome to Stephen Kalagi's YouTube page. Today's a uh, little message about words and how we use them. Um, words can be very destructive or they can uplift someone. Words are actually seeds. Um, and if we're not careful, we can destroy someone or we can build someone up. So let me give you an example. This jar, they had a study. I had this discussion with my friend, uh, Governor Jufa. And we discussed about this. There was a study that had fleas in a jar. And the fleas in the jar, when put in there for 24 hours, they, when they jumped up, they hit the lid and then they came back down. And they did that for 24 hours. Now the normal height of a, normal leap of a flea is two meters. Now after 24 hours, they took the lid off and they put it in a larger jar. The jar probably was another a feet high. And the scientists were monitoring these fleas and the fleas all, even though not a lid, all this jump go all over the level because the cap was, they remember the cap was there. Now the cap represents negative words in our life. When we have kids, we have people telling us that you can't do it, uh, you blow, you plus man, you stop the settlement, uh, you blow highlands, you blow mamase, you can't do this, you can't be a rocket scientist, you can't be a prime minister, you can't be, uh, you can't run a company. Those are negative words that kind of put that lid on our life. So the true potential of uh, someone is two meters. We have all these negative words that are lids in our life. And that's what we parents and uncles and aunties, that's our job. If you have little kids that are, you know, two years old to 18 years old, give, always bless them with positive words. Say that you can be someone. You can be anyone, anything you want. You must encourage them all. That is why all over the street, all the little kids call me Uncle Steven because I take time to talk to them. Even the little street monkeys on Boroko to Calgary to uh, even the traffic lights. We give them a little money, we give them a little blessing. Say, you're going to be someone. You're going to be someone. That's what you, we all should be doing. Blessing all our street kids and all our nephews and nieces. Uh, put positive words into their life. Just bless them with seeds. And those seeds, one more time in Bakarbukege. Uh, too many people are worried about big things like the the country, and we're all confessing with negative seeds out to the uh, out to the world, and we're we're saying that oh, PNC corrupt, it's bad, it's bad, it's worse. So the more we confess about bad things and negative things, it's just getting worse and worse. It's not getting better. So why not we turn it around and uh, speak positive words and just say that look, PNC is blessed country is blessed, our country will change. Uh, we're not broke. Uh, right now, all I hear around PNG is, we're struggling, it's hard, we're struggling. So that's the biggest um, word, we're all confessing it. It's like when you plant, plant a negative seed, you're gonna just uh, bear negative fruits. So just put positive seeds into our kids, put positive seeds into everyone you talk to, and that's how PNG will turn around we just start speaking positive among each other. Um, we can't change anything. The only thing you can change is what you say today and tomorrow. So I want to encourage everyone right now to listen to this message. Just speak positive talk. Words are very powerful. They're like double-edged swords. You know, Jesus healed people with words. God created the world with words. Things happen with words. So. Be careful of what words you use and when you're talking to someone and when you're blessing someone. Whatever you say, you, you know, in the Bible it says the power is the, the tongue is the power of life and death. So be very careful of what you say. Um, so that's my small message to everyone. Encourage all your nephews, nieces, all the street kids. Um, just be a blessing to them. Speak positive words because they'll become seeds, not swords. Just keep on speaking positive seeds into people's lives, not negative seeds. And don't, in your life, let's not limit yourself to a glass jar. Your true potential is two meters, not two feet or two centimeters. 
So in closing, speak positive words to your kids, to your aunties, to your uncles, to each other, and to yourself. Most important, when you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say you're powerful, you're blessed, you're gonna achieve so much, you're gonna get big muscles, you're gonna get the car, you're gonna get the promotion, you're gonna get, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get that, blessed, thank you God. Just say those words and we see what happens. If you like this message, please like, 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 comment, and subscribe. Please stay blessed and bless all you people.